Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this quick and easy text animation in After Effects. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is double click in the project panel, hit new composition, and rename this awesome text animation. Here are my settings right here, and we're gonna select OK. I'm gonna drag in my background right here, and if we skim through it, you can see it's just a gradient that slightly changes, but any solid color works. I'm gonna shy the layers by clicking here, which hides it from our view. Next, I'm gonna hit Command T on my keyboard and type in my phrase. Using the Align panel, I'm gonna center my text to the composition. If you don't see this panel, go to Window and select Align. Now I'm going to change my fill to a stroke and change its color to white. Then make sure your width is set to 3. If I double click on my layer, I can select Create Shapes from Text. And if we open up the contents of the new layer, you'll see that each letter is its own shape. So we can go ahead and delete this other layer. Next we're going to add a trim paths to our text. If I twirl this open and jump ahead to about one second, we're going to add a keyframe for the end control. Then we're going to add a keyframe right at the beginning and bring the percentage down to zero. If I play through this, we get something like that. And if I pause and hit N on the keyboard, we can loop our preview. Instead of our trim going simultaneously through our text, we're going to change it to individually. Then we get something like this. Next, highlight these keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now we're going to open up the graph editor and grab our first keyframe to adjust its outgoing velocity. Holding shift, we're going to drag this out to about halfway. Now we're going to do the same for our incoming velocity and bring it back to about 3 quarters of the way. When we play through this, we get something that flows a lot better. Awesome, I'm going to go ahead and collapse this. If I hit Command D on the keyboard, it duplicates our layer, and we can hit Enter to rename this with an O because we're going to change this outline to orange. I copy and pasted this code for an orange that I already liked. Next, let's jump ahead about 5 frames and offset the start of this layer. When we play through it, we get something like this. Cool, so let's go ahead and duplicate this top layer and rename it to Fill. Go ahead and hide these layers for now and drag this to the bottom. First, make sure to delete the trim paths from the contents. Then, go ahead and add any fill, it doesn't matter what color, and bring the stroke to zero. You can see we just have our text now. Let's open up our effects and presets and type in gradient. We're going to grab this gradient ramp and drop it on our layer. Let's change the start of our ramp to the upper left corner of our text. And change the end of our ramp to the bottom right corner. Now let's change both of our colors to the orange we picked in the beginning. and then make the end of the ramp a little darker and the beginning of the ramp a little lighter. Now, let's go to the beginning of our layer and grab the rectangle tool and turn on Shape Creates Mask. We're gonna make a mask with plenty of room around the edges of our text. Cool, go ahead and open up the mask and put a keyframe for Mask Path. Holding Shift and using the arrow keys, we're going to move our mask completely off our text. Jump ahead a full second. Holding Shift and using the arrow keys, let's bring the mask just over our text again. If we change the feather to 30 and play through, we get something like this. Now let's adjust these keyframes just like last time and hit F9 to easy ease. 
Then open up the graph editor one more time to change the outgoing and incoming velocities. I know it looks a little different this time, but it works the same way. When we play through it, it only makes a small change, but I think it looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and turn on our layers and see what we have. Awesome, so next we're going to select our top layer and go to Effect, Stylize, and Glow. Now this already looks pretty good, but we're going to change the glow radius to 20. When we play through, this is what we get. And the last thing we're going to do is highlight all of our layers, double click, and select Pre-Compose. Let's name this text. Go up to Effects and Presets and search for Drop Shadow and drop that onto our layer. We can leave this at 5 and adjust our softness to 15. If we go to the beginning of our timeline and play through, here's what we get. And there we have it, there's a quick and easy text animation that you can use in your next video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider subscribing, it really does make a difference. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and as always, I'll see you in the next video.